Number 1. Icon A5 The Icon A5 is a fresh, modern, ultralight amphibious sport plane that may be flown with just a sport aeroplane license rather than a complete private pilot license. A private pilot license is required to operate faster, longer range aircraft. The A5 has a top speed of 105 kT and can fly or cruise at that speed. It can take off with a maximum weight of 1,430 pounds. The plane's takeoff and landing distances are 750 feet, and its range is 300 nautical miles. The Icon A5's amphibious capabilities allow it to land on water as well as on a normal runway. The A5 Limited Edition has a useful load, people, luggage, fuel of approximately 430 pounds. The A5 uses the 912 IS Sport, an electronically fuel-injected variant that offers even greater efficiency and ease of operation in all conditions. Even if you do encounter a catastrophic emergency while piloting the Icon A5, the plane has a huge parachute on board that's big enough to support the weight of the entire aircraft. Number 2. Airbus Car 700 OPV the first fully unmanned flight demonstration of Airbus helicopters optionally piloted vehicle is scheduled for June. The OPV is a modified helicopter's Gimbal Cabri G light helicopter that will be used to evaluate control laws for the VSR 700, a vertical takeoff and landing unmanned aerial vehicle that will be used to meet a future French Navy shipborne UAV requirement known as the Système de Drone Aérien pour la Marine (SDAM). Since May 2017, the air vehicle, which has a 155 horsepower Continental CD155 heavy fuel piston engine and a low vibration three blade main rotor, has logged 70 hours of flight time with a safety pilot on board. The VSR 700 program is led by Airbus Helicopters in partnership with Helicopters Gimbal and Naval Group. Number 3 White Knight 2 White Knight 2 is a four-engine, dual-fuselage jet aircraft created specifically for carrying Spaceship 2 up to a height of 50,000 feet. Spaceship 2 is a reusable winged spacecraft designed to carry eight people, including two pilots, into space safely and with high frequency. Spaceship 2 is propelled by a hybrid rocket motor, which combines solid and liquid rocket components. Both forms of rocket engines have significant benefits. The hybrid tries to combine the simplicity of a solid motor with the controllability of a liquid motor. The rocket motor of Spaceship 2 may be turned off swiftly and safely at any time throughout the flight. The most innovative feature of Spaceship 2 is its unique ability to change shape in space to ensure a repeatable and safe re-entry. Spaceship 2 has more windows than any previous spacecraft in history, allowing each astronaut to gaze out into the heavens and back to our lovely Earth below, each with a unique perspective. Number 4. Airbus E-Fan The Airbus E-Fan is a two-seater prototype electric aircraft that was under development at the time. The E-Fan has a takeoff speed of 110 km per hour, a cruise speed of 160 km per hour, and a maximum speed of 220 km per hour. It has a 45 minute to 1 hour endurance range. The landing gear on the E-Fan comprises of two electrically controlled retractable wheels located below the fuselage fore and aft. It also includes two small wheels under the wings. The aft main wheel includes an electric motor with 6 kW power, which provides taxiing and acceleration up to 60 km per hour during takeoff. It's designed to provide reduced overall electrical power consumption during the operation. The electric motors of the aircraft are powered by 250 volt lithium ion polymer batteries manufactured by Cocam. The aircraft includes a 120 cells lithium polymer battery system with a rated capacity of 4 volts per cell in addition to a backup battery for emergency landing purposes. The battery packs are in the wings of the aircraft and can be recharged in one hour. Number 5. Elroy Air Chaparral Elroy Air Cargo is an unmanned cargo aircraft designed by the American startup Elroy Air with the goal of replacing inefficient ground delivery routes with unmanned aircraft. The aircraft will be able to take up and drop off up to 500 pounds or 225 kilograms in one flight and traverse a maximum distance of 300 miles or 500 kilometers. 
Lightweight aerodynamic pods capable of carrying up to 300 pounds, 135 kilograms of cargo are used in the system. Separate from the airplane, these containers are packed and placed outside for pickup. The chaparral then navigates itself into position over the pod, where it releases a crane mechanism that locks onto either end of the container and lifts it onto the aircraft's belly for takeoff. The crane lowers the pod to the landing zone at the destination, allowing the chaparral to pick up another container for the return flight. Number 6. Augusta Westland AW609 the Augusta Westland AW609, originally the Bell Augusta BA609, a twin-engine tilt-rotor VTOL aircraft with a configuration similar to the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. It can land vertically like a helicopter and has a range and speed much above that of traditional rotor craft. Tilt-rotor aircraft which can take off and fly like a helicopter have already demonstrated their utility in military applications. Augusta Westland is now working on the first one for the civilian market. The executive version of the Augusta Westland AW609 tilt rotor, previously known as the Bell Augusta BA609, will be able to carry up to nine passengers in a pressurized cabin, reducing point-to-point -point travel time for many trips. Tilt rotors are far faster than helicopters, and they can travel much further without stopping. The twin-engine turboprop aircraft can reach a top speed of 275 miles per hour and a ceiling of up to 25,000 feet in horizontal flight, with a range of 750 miles. According to the firm, flying will often be the quickest option to go between 57 and 575 miles. Number 7. Boeing PAV The Boeing Passenger Air Vehicle PAV is a next-generation electric vertical takeoff and landing passenger aircraft for air taxi that Boeing designed and developed for safe on-demand air transportation. The autonomous aircraft will tackle potential environmental and transportation issues while providing a safe, clean, and quiet urban travel experience. The aircraft is designed to operate on vertiports, vertical airports, and allows people to board and exit quickly. The eVTOL aircraft's overall length is 30 feet, 9.14 meters, and its width is 28 feet, 8.53 meters. The aircraft will be available in two- and four-passenger configurations, as well as a modular cargo option. It features a gull-winged door with hinges at the top. Number 8. Airbus Zero e in late 2020, Airbus presented a proposal for a series of zero-emission aircraft. These could distinguish Airbus as a pioneer in this field, but there's still considerable work to be done. It has proposed three aircraft ideas, each of which is powered by hydrogen. These are referred to as Zero-E. Airbus is working on a far larger effort to make hydrogen power and zero emissions commercially possible, in addition to aircraft and engine design and technology. The Zero-E ideas are all hybrid hydrogen planes. They are propelled by modified gas turbine engines that burn hydrogen. For combustion with oxygen, liquid hydrogen is used as a fuel. <music>